I've got two skillets here. And I'm, I've already cooked my macaroni. I cooked two cups of macaroni. I'm going to turn the skillets on and we're going to do a double batch. First thing I do is to add four tablespoons of butter to each skillet and let it melt. So the butter is melted. And I'm going to add to each skillet four tablespoons of flour. Most recipes I've seen call for all-purpose flour. But this happens to be self-rising. It really won't change the flavor. But I'm going to mix these up. And we don't really want it to burn. And then to this, I'm going to add milk to one skillet. And what I usually use, in addition to the cup of milk, is a half cup of cream or half and half but I don't happen to have any so I'm going to use a half a cup of evaporated milk in with it and I got to get to my other skillet which is starting to brown I'm going to add the almond milk so this is my white sauce to each skillet I'm going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and just a little dash of pepper to each one. And now I'm going to start adding some cheese. I'm going to taste each one to make sure it's salty enough. And it is. All right. Now I'm going to add the macaroni okay I think it's all mixed up all right so I have two bowls of baking dishes prepared here I didn't want to put it in identical dishes because I figured I might get it mixed up. 
So I'm going to put the mac and cheese made with the almond milk in this colorful loaf pan. And I'm going to put the mac and cheese made with whole milk, cow's milk, in the oval cornware dish. Okay, so I have my two dishes of mac and cheese, and I'm going to add a couple of little strips of cheddar cheese onto each one. And I'm going to add some shredded Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to bake these at 350 for about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. And then we'll do the taste test. The mac and cheese is done and it's dinner time. So let me show you the two versions. This one was made with regular whole milk, cow's milk. This one was made with the almond milk. I don't really see any difference. So the the experiment was a success. Almond milk is a very good substitute for regular milk in making mac and cheese. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and share it with someone else. Thanks for stopping by.